Howdy, this is Herb again. Uh, welcome uh, to my workshop. Uh, this week uh, we uh, had a problem with our mill. Uh, it turned out to be the drum switch. I purchased a three horsepower Hitachi WJ200 uh, drive and I'll show that. Uh, it's a VFD and uh, replace this switch and also uh, since I have a step head uh, uh, mill uh, it'll provide me some uh, range of uh, of uh, spindle speeds. So uh, without further ado we'll get on with the show here. This is what I uh, was using to run my mill and uh, it's a uh, actually a five horsepower phasomatic. Uh, it didn't work in the beginning and uh, the tech at Phasomatic told me how to uh, make it work is basically take one of the two capacitors uh, out of the circuit, which was just a matter of unsoldering one wire. So it works. Uh, I was having problems with my, uh, uh, with the mill starting and I thought it was this Phasomatic and uh, so I uh, decided that I'd go ahead and bite the bullet and get a three horsepower VFD, which I've done. And uh, this morning I wired it up where I'm just running the uh, phasomatic uh, directly into the mill just to check the wiring and it works, uh, works as, a, as it's supposed to. Uh, the uh, motor uh, was sort of obscure, but I uh, figured it out and figured out their numbering system. It was the NEMA numbering system for the wires. So I uh, got uh, four, five, and six connected to the line, and one, two, and three are uh, open, and that's the high speed uh, portion of the. Uh, of the mill, so uh, I don't won't need uh, low speed at all. And uh, come to find out, it was actually the uh, drum switch that was bad, and I was having problems with it. So uh, it will be completely out of the circuit, and uh, all the controls will be uh, from the VFD. So uh, let me uh, change the camera around here. Okay, uh, this is the, the motor hooked up directly to the Phasomatic uh, and it's wired uh, for high speed mode. And I've got a breaker down here and I turn it on, you'll see the mill. And I've got it uh, running on the, the high speed right now. It's actually uh, running in reverse, but uh, that's no problem. Just swap uh, any two of the wires around. And... Okay, this is the underside of the uh, uh, Hitachi uh, WJ200 uh, VFD. I've got the, the panel off here so I can uh, wire it. And the way I did this, there's a there's a mount here on the side to uh, mount the drum switch and uh, so I pulled that off and uh, made a plate it's actually a uh, four inch by three inch uh, piece of angle it was in my scrap bin then I had this aluminum plate which is also in my scrap bin and I uh, uh, 
drilled and tapped the holes here for the uh, uh, to mount to this uh, stock uh, mounting plate and so that's held by two uh, six millimeter cap screws then th uh, the aluminum plate here is held by three uh, quarter twenty uh, cap screws with uh, nuts on the back uh, lock washers and nuts then the VFD is mounted to this plate uh, with uh, uh, 1032 socket head cap screws uh, with uh, nuts on the back. At the space down here, I'm going to put a pot for uh, uh, controlling the speed and uh, in a switch. I'll probably put the switch over here in the pot here. Uh, to uh, forward and reverse and stop and uh, the pot is for the speed control uh, but uh, just uh, just getting it wired up this is the test wiring that uh, I have and I have uh, the black hooked up to six the red hooked up to four and the white uh, hooked up to five and then uh, one two and three are open and uh, that's just to check to uh, make sure my my wiring information worked which it does so that's the uh, that's the project I'm working here on uh, uh, this being Thanksgiving I'm not going to do much uh, else today but uh, just thought I'd get this recorded and uh, uh, here in the next uh, few days we'll have this thing uh, up and running. Okay, I wanted to show off my uh, installation of the uh, VFD on the mill. Uh, VFD is mounted to a bracket that I think I've showed earlier. Uh, back here we have a forward and reverse switch which I need to label in a pot that controls the frequency so forward we pull it down right now we're running at 11 hertz Oops, that's full speed stop reverse And it hit an air condition. There we go. It's running in reverse now. Stop. So the air condition is I've got the deceleration time set too fast. For the speed. That seemed to work okay. There we go. In reverse. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty well it. I'll show the back back in here, and uh, looks like it's going to work out real well. This is the back end of the uh, VFD. Uh, I've got a quad box with the uh, wiring coming into it. It's uh, all the uh, input wiring, uh, the 240N, then the motor wiring uh, three phase out. And uh, then down below is the wiring for the pot in the, the uh, uh, single pole double throw switch. This is a little bit better view of the pot in the switch and of course the wiring goes up underneath the face panel of the uh, Hitachi uh, WJ200. Uh, it's a three horsepower VFD.